Hey man, it's Chris. Look, I don't know how to tell you this, man, but Henry died this afternoon. We were both using the same stuff we always use, but I don't know, man. I guess he just used too much. His breathing slowed down, and he started making choking noises, and I didn't know what to do, man. I just panicked. I called the ambulance too late. I didn't think he would die. I heard stuff like this could happen from the other people who used, but I didn't think someone could die. I thought the chances of that happening were way too slim. I need to learn more about how we can avoid something horrible like this happening to us again. I've heard about these places we can go where we can use safely. They call them safe consumption sites or safe injection sites. Look, I'm going to visit one tomorrow and see what I can learn. Hey there, welcome to the Sunnyville Health Center Safe Injection Site. My name is Lori and I'm one of the many healthcare professionals who work here. How may I be of assistance today? Hi Lori, I'm Chris. This is my first time visiting a place like this. I am a heroin user. My friends are too. Recently, a friend of mine passed away from an opioid overdose, and I don't want to go down the same path he did. I came here today to understand how taking too much of the drug that we all use all the time caused my friend's death, and how this site can prevent that from happening to me. Do you think you can help? Of course I can help. First, to understand how opioid overdoses occur, we must learn about the mechanisms behind the effects of opioids. To begin, the nerve cells located throughout our body contain opioid receptors. There are three main types of opioid receptors, mu, kappa, and delta. These receptors have similar but slightly different effects from one another. The natural purpose for these receptors are to bind to endorphins, enkephalins, and dynorphins, which can be thought of as natural painkillers produced by our body. Let's take a look at an example. Here we can see a mu opioid receptor sitting on the membrane of a nerve cell. When an opioid binds to the receptor, a series of steps occur which ultimately result in a reduction in cyclic AMP and hyperpolarization of the nerve cell. Ultimately, this creates euphoric and analgesic effects for the user. Ah, I see. The drugs we take bind to these receptors meant for natural painkillers, and since so many receptors are bound in such a short period of time, we get a really strong reaction, which causes us to feel really good. Exactly. However, the dangers of these drugs should be taken very seriously. Opioids are one of the easiest substances to overdose on. If too high of a dosage is used, it can lead to adverse effects such as respiratory failure, coma, and even death. Let's take a look at breathing for example. Breathing, also known as respiration, is controlled by the medullary respiratory centers which are located in the medulla oblongata and pons. The respiratory center gets information about oxygen and carbon dioxide levels in the blood via chemoreceptors, which are located in the vascular system. Opioids inhibit the chemoreceptors via opioid receptors. This interrupts the brain from getting important information about the changes in chemical composition of the blood. In extreme cases, this depression of respiration can result in hypoxia and even death. Oh, that's horrible. Now I understand what happened to Henry. So, if someone did happen to overdose, there must be some way we can help them here, right? We take multiple precautions to ensure the safety of those who choose to use drugs at one of our sites. Aside from having multiple health professionals on standby, we also utilize naloxone kits. These kits temporarily reverse overdoses if one does occur. They are kept on site and are also given out for use at home or wherever an overdose may occur for free. When one experiences or notices symptoms of overdose in someone else, the naloxone in the kit can either be injected or taken as a nasal spray to provide treatment. Precise instructions for quick and simple administration are contained within the kit. So how does this naloxone work exactly? Naloxone is an opioid antagonist. This means that when it enters the body, it can prevent opioids from binding to receptors by binding onto the receptors themselves. This prevents the opioids from eliciting a response from the body, which may lead to the symptoms of an overdose. Think of our body as an airplane and our opioid receptors as pilot chairs. If we flood our body with opioids, it's as if we're putting a person without their pilot's license in charge of the plane and its responses. This is extremely dangerous to the rest of the passengers on board and may lead to the plane crashing. When we take naloxone, it's as if we're placing experienced pilots on board 
to take over the pilot chairs and steer the plane in the correct direction safely. This prevents the inexperienced pilots from taking the controls again. One thing to consider is that the effects of naloxone are temporary. If someone is experiencing an overdose, they need to seek immediate medical attention. The naloxone is only meant to buy time for an individual to receive aid. Do you understand? I understand. I am relieved to hear about the precautions you guys take to prevent any unnecessary loss of life. The next time I think about using, I'll definitely consider visiting a safe injection site. Thank you for answering my questions today. I am grateful for everything I've been told regarding how overdoses can occur, how serious they are, and what steps I can take to prevent one from taking another life. Thank you.